Hello, what is up everyone? How is everyone's day today so far? Get over here in the uh where I'm supposed to be. So yeah, what is going on? I hope everyone had a great weekend. We got Marcy Kennedy in first, Max Hustle, one of our patrons in as second. Keith, the command post picker, awesome. Glad you're here, bud. Appreciate it. <laughs> Max, yeah, I sold an item for a dollar fifty. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, no doubt. Cody says, hopefully you <laughs> calculated shipping on that, or, or unless it's a you can put a stamp on it or something. Even then, a stamp is fifty cents. <laughs> At a dollar fifty. <laughs> oh gosh, Karen Henderson, welcome, welcome. I'm going to bestow a ranch on Karen Henderson this morning. Karen Henderson is now a moderator. So congratulations. Good morning, Monty. South of Martindale. Good morning, Craig, the land shark picker. Justin Pacman. Good morning. I think I friended you on Instagram, Justin. I think, I don't know. It all runs together. <laughs> Paul, the gate city picker. Welcome. Welcome. Michelle Lathan, welcome. So yeah, we had a really good day uh, thrifting yesterday. I think you guys are really going to like the uh, haul video coming out on Tuesday. Uh, yeah, not doing anything really big different, like thrifting wise, but we're, uh, my wife is editing the video differently. So I think you guys will enjoy it. We did a little bit of extra on it. So yeah. So how do you guys like the title? Pa packing and shipping the pig. It's, it's far as keywords it's absolute crap but i didn't care i just <laughs> trying to be a little bit funny a little bit cheeky if you will so you can see the pig right here gotta pack up that bad boy and it's a big glass pain in the butt but i'm gonna show everyone how to do it because you know good profit in this stuff and you got to know how to ship it safely. So I got all my supplies pulled out, my boxes that I'm going to do it with. And I said boxes. So, cause I might have to Franken box cause it's gigantic. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Marcy. Yeah. This was, this sold fairly quickly. This was in a haul video, probably, I don't know what, three haul videos ago or so. So, uh, and we didn't pay that much for it. Uh, if I remember correctly, uh, 750 10 bucks or so something like that so yeah of course it'll be in a sold video as well yeah yeah man yeah absolutely it'll be a job packing that bad boy up i have no doubt it'll take about 15 or 20 minutes just to pack that so yes it will yeah that is one heck of a piggy bank absolutely piggy 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 yeah i figured you know Basically, I make people ranches who participate in the chats, so why not? I know it's, I don't know if it goes back to our school mentality, but, you know, when I'm a longtime viewer of a channel and I participate in their chats, you know, it's a, I want to be rewarded, so why wouldn't everybody else here? So, yeah. It's going to go double, so when, uh, when I start doing my live auctions you know i won't be able to pay attention to the chat i'll be taking bids on the chat but you know i'll be describing stuff so it's important to have a lot of uh wrenches so be if trolls don't take over we haven't been oh i'm not i'm gonna jinx myself here we haven't been trolled in a long time so uh but uh yeah i'll jinx myself so you mods be on your toes <laughs> i know you will you always are destiny good morning uh destiny show was awesome last night i i was in that chat and checked that out i really enjoyed it so, uh, yeah, that was fun. Oh yeah, I know. I know Marcy. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I, <laughs> I know he took it well, but this morning I've, <laughs> I'm still going to apologize to Andy, the parrot head picker. I put my foot in my mouth this morning, trying to be cheeky in uh actually I was concerned about something and yeah, just worded a, a something in a way that came off as god what a jerk you know and i was like oh man so andy i know he's at breakfast right now with his uh his, uh, his wife and his sister and stuff but andy when if you watch this on replay sorry but he knew i was joking but still i felt bad about it but uh yeah <laughs> we were chatting on facebook so but andy released a new video this morning you guys go check that out after we're done here <laughs> yeah 
Trust me, I have foot and mouth disease all the time. I had someone, I want to tell this story real quick, just talking about foot and mouth disease or lack of like wit and witticisms in the moment when I was in grad school getting my MBA. They had us in what they call cohorts, which is a fancy word for being in group projects all the damn time, which I'm not a fan of because I'm, you know, I know how to do my own work, but, uh, and kind of, I'm kind of a solo writer anyway, but you know, got to be a team player, but we had, uh, a person in our group who was just, was not a very nice person at all. I mean, her name's, her name's Jennifer, but I won't say her her last name. I still remember her last name. That's how memorable this chick was. But um, when I landed the, it was, we was in our like last semester of grad school and I landed the teaching gig at University of Missouri where I was going to teach some business classes, you know, because I was a business owner, I was getting my MBA and uh, yeah, I was going to just teach as an adjunct professor at the University of Missouri. And she said to my face, I am not exaggerating. She said to my face, well, hmm, those who can't do teach. She said that to my face and I was just like, my jaw hit the floor. I didn't, I, I didn't have anything to, I was like, just dumbstruck with how arrogant and yeah, for lack of a better word, bitchy this person was, you know, I was just dumbstruck, you know, but I know she'll never watch this video, but, uh, and she sold insurance. It's like, seriously, you were, you sell insurance and you're going to tell me those who can't do teach. I owned a business, two businesses teaching at the university of Missouri. And she said that to me, but anyway. Still remember that to this day, and that was like 10 years ago. But anyway, it just shows how people, you know, basically people that are unhappy with their own lives or, you know, get after other people. So, oh, and this Andy's been super, super busy. You know, he works that full time job, and yeah, he's just been super duper busy. Paul posted a video. I have to go check that out. Yep, absolutely. You can link your channel, Paul, if you want to, the Gate City Picker. Yeah, <laughs> you should be well familiar with that term, Craig. We we're from, we're from the South, the Coons age. Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh yeah. Hey, Craig says it's a Coon age, like a crap ton of days. I think so. Yeah. I don't think there's a definitive amount, but it's just a yeah, crap ton, yeah, or a shitload, <laughs> if you will. <laughs> Yeah, Anissa, isn't it funny the comments you remember? Yep. Oh, I do too. Sayings. Yeah, she, Anissa talk about sayings her dad said. Yeah, my you know, my dad's been dead for like over ten years now, and I still remember his dumb sayings and the dumb shit he did. <laughs> like they like it was yesterday, you know. Yep. Absolutely. Okay, but anyway. Um Well, let me talk about, I want to talk about the auction first, about the registrations, and then we'll get into packing the pig, the the real reason for the video. So registrations are going well. We're about to, we're about halfway. I said 50, I'll schedule the video and we're about at 25 registrations for the auction. Of course, most of the regulars in here have already registered, but uh, as soon as we hit 50, I'll schedule the first auction. Of course, I showed the first lot of video game stuff and I have a few more lots put together. I'm going to do another live on Wednesday. I'll schedule that today. I'll do another live on Wednesday showing off another uh, two or three lots of stuff I've put together for the auction. So, uh, yeah, as soon as we hit 50, uh, newfoundpass.com, register. And, uh, and of course, we appreciate everyone that's registered so far. <laughs> and this is my dad still live saying and doing them. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, Monty... Monty's dad was born in 1900. Oh, wow. My great grandmother was born in 1905. That's (laughs) her dad was born in 1900. My great grandmother was born in 1905. (laughs) Oh my gosh. That's great. It shows how generations are weird. Like who was it? There was still, there was a president that was like president in the early to mid 1800s that still has two living children or grandchildren or something. Yeah, I don't know. It's crazy. Yeah, newfoundpass.com. Thank you. Okay, so let me actually got to wipe my nose here. A little bit chilly down here this morning. Temperature dropped again in Northern Virginia. So 
Okay. Shift around here. Let me make sure I got the... Actually, I mean, okay, so you guys can see everything. Obviously, I'm gonna, I got two boxes I'm going to start with because I'm going to have to, like I said, this thing's so big, it's going to have to be Frankenbox. I got uh, two 12 by 12 by 12 eBay boxes. Yep, so let's just get to it. Get to it. I'll make one box first. I do have some other stuff to pack up and ship, but, you know, that's just boring, monotonous stuff. So I'll do that after the video. Sales were okay this past weekend. Not great. I haven't been great, great in a long time. Um, I want to give a shout out to Michelle Lathan. She, she made a comment that made me like stop and think. And yeah, you should stop and think. You know, <laughs> I was, you know, doing everything in my power to drive sales and stuff. And she was like, you know, maybe because you haven't been, you know, doing bread and butter stuff. And I think you're right, Michelle, if you're in here, I think you're right. I think I need to, it's obviously got to be a mix, but, um, I think I got to start listing more bread and butter stuff, you know, cause those 20, $30 sales add up, you know? So, but anyway, thanks Michelle made me think, okay, so I got my first box built. So what I'm going to use, obviously I'm going to, when you do something this big and glass, You need to do multiple layers. I got bubble wrap. I've got paper. And I've got egg cartons. So you could double box this, but it's just not going to work with this. But uh, the first thing I want to do is put the layer of egg cartons on the bottom. I just put them together and just slide them right in there. And this 12 by 12 by 12 box, they fit right in there. So that's the benefit of this 12 by 12 by 12. So layer the bottom with some egg cartons. I'm sorry, I'm ignoring the chat. But I got my Google Hangouts pulled up so I could see. Okay, so I got that layered on the bottom. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this pig in my pre-cut bubble wrap. The best I can <laughs> anyway without dropping it hopefully okay I think my sister was gonna watch today I hope she's my sister usually well, actually she usually listens but uh yeah, if you're out there hey BJ she was texting with me last night So that's one side. I'm going to take, put a little tape on that. Okay. Got a second piece here. I'm going to wrap around. Tuck, tuck. Okay. I'm going to put up a little piece of tape to hold that in a couple of spots. A lot of this is, I mean, I don't know for sure this is going to fit perfectly. So a lot of it's just ciphering as you go, you know. I know the boxes will fit because I measured the pig and I measured the boxes, of course. But um, as far as the packing and stuff, you just kind of have to tinker with what works best, with what's safest. You definitely want it to get there in one piece. That's the goal anyway. Okay, so we got her all bubble wrapped up. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> I'm gonna set that down in here just to kind of dry fit. All right, so we got our egg cartons in the bottom, got our pig wrapped in bubble wrap, <clears throat> and I'll fill the, the little corners, the corners are hollow, I'll fill that with paper. So. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. I'll just make a corner 
just kind of fill the holes. We want this to where if somebody drops this on a corner, you know, the, the paper will take the brunt of the impact and not the, the pig. Pack the pig. Whoopee. As my Uncle Jeff would say, I am a hog. I used to be until I lost this weight. <laughs> um, okay. We're doing it. Filling up the corners. I know a lot of this stuff is basic, but you know, a lot of stuff people don't think of. And you wouldn't know it until you saw it, you know. Okay, so we got our corners. We'll have to do that again when we put the second box on top of this. We got to marry two boxes. This is the tricky part. You got to get this on there without slicing the corner up all the way to the side. Just don't force it too hard. So here we go. Easy peasy. That one slid on there fairly easy. Of course I say that and I just got hit a snag. with the box filling up the pig filling up most of the box you can't really bend it because usually you just bend it in pull this around and, uh, there we go there we go okay that's good you want to leave a little bit at the top so you can put another layer of egg cartons don't put the box all the way down to the where it would fold on top of the pig because you want, you want to do another layer of uh, yeah egg cartons so I'm going to do fill the corners again with paper before I put the egg cartons in. Paper, paper. boxes a little bit. Yeah, shift them up just a here. That's a good thing about doing it this way. You can get it exactly where you need it. There. And that is perfect. Just like that. And I will tape all this up right now. Thank you. 
Okay, now I've got to take the joints where the two boxes come together. Sorry if that tape dispenser is loud. I know it's loud here. Hey, you guys can't see that if I back up here a little bit. That is it. That is a big pig. Shake it. No movement. I'm still not going to drop it. <laughs> Even if I did, though, it would probably be okay, but I'm not going to. So let's go. I'm going to put my scale on the ground here so we can weigh it. It's pretty heavy, about 15 pounds or so. Oh, it's close. 16 pounds, 5 ounces. 16 pounds, 5 ounces. I'm going to note that here. 16, 5. All right. Not too bad. Not too bad. All right. Cool. I'll get back over here in the chat and see what you guys are on. Oh, let me go ahead and print the label out for that. Let's just see how much it's going to cost because they paid calculated shipping. So let's just see. Obviously, you can't do cubic. Ooh, excuse me. 16 pounds, five ounces in the box. This custom box. I know it's 12 by 12 on two sides, but what's the height? 25 inches. 25 inches by 12 by 12. 16 pounds, 5 ounces. So what do we got here? $19.74. That's not too bad. Under 20 bucks. Priority mail. Sold. <laughs> I'm going to print that label. All right, that one's the first one done. Cool. Okay, I'm going to get back over here in the chat now. Let me see if I can find the windows. There we go. All right, what did I miss? <laughs> I hope that was clear as mud. I hope everyone enjoyed it. So uh, always layer and layer and layer. Yeah, is the is the key. Okay. Oh, thanks, Paul. Uh, yeah, I did before I packed all that up. I'd already transferred my PayPal funds. We got Mo Flips in here. Welcome. <laughs> Yeah, Max also I would have broke that pig just looking at it yeah trust me it was like I always was extra careful you know and even then I'm like you know butterfingers you know so good morning Tracy welcome 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 Uh, let me grab a note here. Okay. So, yeah, I got that packed up. I got uh, four or five other things to pack up. I can't remember. I got one of them pulled. But uh, I got to do the haul video the, uh, this afternoon. That'll be up, of course, for patrons tonight. Max Hustle. 
I believe Karen Henderson's a, a patron too. Let me, I have to pull my account up. Uh, two factor authentication. Yeah, Karen Henderson's a patron. Yeah, so <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh. oh, hello, Blake. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So yeah, uh, Blake says day job taking all my listing. Yeah, that's awesome, man. If you're working a full time job and twenty four hundred in sales, that's really really good. That's cool, Mo. 1050 25 cents into 1050 yeah like i was talking about bread and butter like i said uh, i don't know if michelle's still in there yeah there she is so talking about michelle you know saying talking about bread and butter and it, that's what i had gotten away uh, away from and my sales is tanked but uh so i think you know i don't think much of anything's coincidence so hello gina i'm scrolling back up to see the comments i missed while i was packing so yeah Yeah, my uh, it was our family in Kansas City was posting video pictures of the snow and stuff on Facebook. Uh, what was that two days ago? Uh, so I just saw your post, Keith. Uh, August twenty third and twenty fourth, Nashville reseller gathering. Huh? I'll have to keep that in mind and see if I don't have anything else going on. Excuse me here. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, Anissa, Anissa talked about Hobbs. He he may be down here. It depends on how long I stay down here. If I stay down here too long, he comes. Uh, what are you doing? You know, you're supposed to be upstairs. Letting me lay on your lap. Okay, so yeah, I was talking about the auction. That's another thing I sold right here. Uh, like I said, we will be posting everything on social media, our Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So if you want to, you know, like one of those or all of them, feel free. Uh, all of them are newfound past. So just search that. And uh, yeah, uh, we do, like I said, newfoundpast.com is the only way to register. So go there. It's really easy. It takes about 30 seconds, if that. So, uh, Every single patron so far is eligible for absentee bids on our auction. If you're $5 and up uh, patron, you get to submit absentee bids to me uh, at least a couple hours before the auction, please. Um, and I want to talk about that a little bit more, how the absentee bids will work. So basically, it's going to be first come, first serve. Not that we can't have two competing bids, but if, uh, say, patron one submits a hundred dollar max bid on lot one and patron two an hour later submits a hundred dollar max bid for lot one well patron one's going to take precedent because they got the bids to me first so the earlier the better uh, get your max bids to me because we got to figure out that so what somehow you know without you know breaking the an anonymity so uh yeah first come first serve uh, on the uh max bids so what you do there, a tip and trick here, you know, a wink here, what I used to do it when I used to leave absentee bids at auctions back in the day is don't leave even numbers. <laughs> if I wanted to say, okay, I'll bid a hundred dollars on that. I'd leave a bit of like $102. <laughs> uh, it's all mind games, isn't it? So yeah, the stuff, lots of my own stuff. I got the video game lot I showed and I can show that again, a, a little bit of it, mostly Radica games like this. 
new sealed in the package. I did talk about the warning in my last auction video about the batteries in these, but they are sealed. So, uh, but everything of course is as is some Coleco vision games, uh, Nintendo DS and some other stuff. If you'll watch my, of course, hope you watch my haul videos and my haul video that were released tonight for patrons and Tuesday for a, uh, uh, public, I, I found some other stuff I'm going to put in the auction too. And it's more of a crafty stuff, uh, stuff that a lot of people seem to like. Uh, I know Sue Ann Reed isn't in here and she's another patron, but Sue Ann loves that stuff. And actually I was thinking about her when I saw this stuff, I'm like, Sue Ann would love that. So I bought it <laughs> and we're going to put it in the auction. Um, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Tracy is that's what was, she, she got it instantly. That's why you bid a hundred dollars and a penny. Yep. <laughs> Never go even. <laughs> um, yeah, still, uh, Sunday, the for the auction will be on Sundays at 7 PM Eastern running through whenever we're done, but no, no later than 10 o'clock. Cause that's late for me. I have to get to bed, need my, my beauty rest. <laughs> So yeah, and last thing I have on my list is Bitter Sign Up. And uh, yeah, just newfoundpass.com. It's my list. <laughs> we And we're just still doing the giveaways for Patreon 2, the Thor Ragnarok, once we reach 25 patrons. Random drawing for that. And we'll be doing giveaways every month for patrons. Doesn't matter if you're a dollar patron. So, yeah. Oh, I'm so hungry. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so uh, what else has been going on? Um, I've been super busy with that. Uh, obviously, getting the the lots to get to put together for auction, just listing stuff on eBay, of course. Uh, I just saw on Facebook this morning that Lonnie hit twenty thousand subs. That's awesome! Congrats to Lonnie. I know that was a long time coming, and uh, yeah, that's awesome. Big congratulations to Lonnie. We, if I if I had half that, if I get to ten thousand, I feel like the king of the world, you know. So, of course, I say that, and whenever it happens, I'll be like, man, <laughs> we always want more, don't we? I think that's ingrained in us as Americans. We always want more, bigger, better, and that kind of stuff. Yep. Okay. So back to the chat here. <laughs> okay so uh what else we got going on oh i got the uh, uh in my haul video my uh last week i had this garmin nuvi this 255 this thing was like brand new in the box but i um I plugged it in to, it has free lifetime maps and traffic. And that's true. I plugged it in. It did the software update. I didn't register for register it or anything. It's already up for, it's already listed for sale. Uh, I think I listed it for 75 or something like that. But, um, the thing about it is that it has a micro SD card slot in it and the maps are so big. Now the internal memory on this can't handle it. So you have to put a micro SD card in it, but I put, I plugged in literally a $4, 16 gigabyte micro SD card. It worked like a charm and it's still in there, of course. And, uh, yeah, it works great. Updated easily. And I bought this for about, I think it's $7 and 50 cents at our, after our discount. And like I said, listed for 75 and hopefully that will sell really quick. That's one of those things to look out for these garments. I've heard they sell really nicely. I think I've sold some in the past, but it's been a while. It's, it's hard to find these in good condition in my area, but this one was really good in the box had all the manuals and the cords and the cables and the, uh, the mounts and everything. So, uh, yeah, just like everything, they'll just comp it and see, you know, so always good stuff. Uh, and I had an updated last one of those I updated. It actually was a Tom 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 Tom's don't seem to sell as well, but maybe I'm just seeing the wrong models, but, uh, yeah, they all, update fairly easily I mean that one did too so oh you'll get there paul uh, like i said link your channel i'll go watch your video uh, everybody can go subscribe to paul the gate city picker and uh i need to make time to watch your videos 
<laughs> Anissa. Uh, you can't look at it that way. You just got to throw it out there. You know, it's like when I first started doing this, I was like, there's no way people really watch this. But I, I mean, I knew I had knowledge to offer, you know, because I've been doing this for such a long time. But uh, you never can tell if people are going to watch. And and this, you're so social in the chats and everybody's chats that you'll get a few hundred subscribers just by being social, you know, so. And you just learn. It's like everything. You just learn. Like my first videos, I go back and watch them and I cringe a little bit, you know, the, <laughs> but everyone's that way, you know, so. And even now I'm like, what am I doing? I don't know. <laughs> oh, gosh. Hello, part-time pickers. Uh, we're going to wrap this up here in about 10 minutes or so. So if you guys have any, any other questions or anything. There you go. See, and that's what most of this is. Like I talked about the, uh, that's the reason I love auctions so much. I talked about the auction I worked at when I was in college and it was a, it was such an interesting concept and I, I wished I could pull it off here, but I don't think I could, but this was in rural Oklahoma. So it, things are just not as red tapish there, you know? So, uh, it was, it was, a pub, it was an auction that a guy owned that, like I said, he bought pallets of stuff, not even truckloads. You know, I've, I've went on to buy truckloads of stuff, you know, like Joe with family of flips of how he's made some videos of that stuff. I've done that, been there, done that. It's tough. <laughs> um, but this guy would buy pallets of stuff and sell the stuff on a TV auction on public access in this little town where I went to college, Chickasha, Oklahoma. I don't even know if the auction is still there. It may be, it may not be. I don't know. It's been 14, 15 years ago now. 15. Yeah. Long time ago. But uh, yeah, sell stuff on public access. And he would ha he had a cameraman. I think his name was Darren. The manager's name was Isaac. I'll always remember Isaac because I went to college with his sister. Uh, yeah, Shauna. Um, and he's that's how I got the job. I knew Shauna. And her brother Isaac was the manager of this TV auction and they needed a uh, bid taker. And I was like, I, I could use a part-time job. I'm going to use some money. I'm a college student. And uh, yeah, and they had a host. They had a cameraman. They had a host. And basically the job of the host was to run their mouth nonstop. You just, no dead air. You know, it's kind of like YouTube. It's not good to have dead air. So their job was to talk about the products, just run, jabber their mouth for, you know, the four or five hours that we're doing this TV show. I can't remember now. It was, it was four or five hours at night it was like six to ten or six six to eleven or something like that and uh yeah people would call in the phones and take bids and that's what i did i took the bids and uh really interesting concept loved loved it and uh yeah it was interesting to see the behind the scenes stuff on that kind of stuff so learned a lot and i remember a lot but it was it was a lot of fun i bought a few things from there my first laptop i ever owned well, not, no, that's not true. The second or third laptop I ever owned, I bought from there. He got a laptop on one of those pallets. You know, it was a, it was a HP laptop, pretty good laptop. Actually, I, I got it for like two or 300 bucks. And at the time it was like a thousand dollar laptop. Of course, now it'd be a hunk of junk. It's long gone. You know, I sold it a decade ago or more. Uh, I bought a pair of sunglasses there as well. Real Oakley's that they got on a pallet. I still have them somewhere. Actually, I'm looking at a picture right there where I'm wearing them, but I don't wear them anymore. And actually, when I moved, you know, I, I worked there for uh, a year or so, uh, basically my last year of college or whatever. But when I moved, I moved to Florida. When I graduated, I got a job in Florida, so I had to move and I had all this stuff I didn't want to take with me. And they sold this my stuff on the auction for me, you know, my my bed my TV, my entertainment system, center system and stuff, stuff I couldn't take with me or didn't want to take with me because I didn't want to rent a truck. You know, I just packed up my car with all my clothes and hit the road. <laughs> so, but it was a fun auction. And uh, Isaac was good people. Just an interesting concept. And that's what I hope to do here on YouTube, that kind of concept, you know. Obviously, I won't be able to go as long or do as many lots as they did. What they would do, they had tables set up in a U shape and basically they would do 10 tables a night with 10 items each on them. So hundred items basically per auction. That's what they would get through hundred, 120, 10, 12 tables per auction. Cause basically they would take bids until people stopped calling, you know, 
and Isaac will count down like, all right, no calls, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, and the phone would ring. <laughs> but eventually that would stop. You know, people would reach all their max bids and the phones would stop ringing. They'd be hitting a count down and be like, sold, you know, and people would come in the next day, pay for their stuff and pick it up. Basic, but awesome. You know, I loved it. And that's what I hope we do here just with the wider audience and, you know, we ship your stuff to you. So, yeah. Good morning, Glenn. Swamp Picker. Welcome. Hope everything's good down in Louisiana, Baton Rouge. I told Lonnie that, you know, because Lonnie lives down there too. Uh, he lives actually in the area that I have some family lives in, in uh, Denham Springs. That's I have family that live in Denham Springs. I haven't even met them, but you know, I'm a genealogist buff, and I and I, my great grandfather had kids from his first marriage, and and the son moved to Denham Springs, in Louisiana, and I've talked to one of them on the phone before. So, but anyway, it's fun how small the world is, you know. Small world. I wouldn't doubt. Oh, hey, John. Cincinnati Picker. What's up, man? I haven't even checked my fantasy baseball. I was getting crushed so bad by Ronnie that I haven't even checked it. <laughs> uh, gosh, I got to get my delve into the uh, stats a little bit more. And of course, all oh, the, the NCAA tournament pool, man. Duke getting beat and Kentucky getting beat finished me off i was on life support as it was and uh duke got beat in uh kentucky and i'm done the fight i'm actually you know i'm sad for my bracket but i'm happy as a, a as a basketball fan you know to have a all those blue blue bloods lose we have virginia texas tech auburn and michigan state michigan state is kind of borderline blue blood i guess but uh yeah it's good to see those teams that aren't normally in the final four there texas tech and auburn even though i loathe auburn with the burning passion but uh yeah <laughs> john, see john's losing to a guy that didn't even set his lineup <laughs> uh that's the way it happens in these things isn't it it's just roll with it Yeah, there are, John. You got the Big Ten, the Big 12, the ACC, and the SEC. So all the four of the five Power Five conferences, everything, everybody but the Pac-10 is represented. You know, of course, you can't have all five in the Final Four, but yeah. You got four of the five big conferences represented. Oh, yeah, it's John. Everybody... I'm not going to sing, but everybody wish John a happy birthday. It is John, the Cincinnati Pickers birthday today. Happy birthday, John. May you have another, you know, a hundred or so. <laughs> oh, that's true, John. I don't believe they are either. They used to be, they had their heyday, but not anymore. Oh, thanks, Karen. I appreciate that. And said, Karen, since you're a patron, you have the ability to send me absentee bids. You just email those to me at, at michael at newfoundpass.com once I set the auction, of course. Yep. John, celebrate, celebrate, celebrate good times. John had some uh, good picking this past weekend, I think. And so did we. We went to two thrift stores yesterday and we made out pretty darn well. So, uh, excited for the uh, haul video film the uh my wife is teleworking today so she's upstairs working but when she gets off work at 4 30 we'll come down here and i'll have everything set up and we'll film the video it's easier when when she's like behind the camera because she can see things i can't when i try to set it up myself so yeah so yeah well that's about it guys i appreciate everyone thanks to all the old subscribers new subscribers and everyone in between uh how do you guys like that? And kind of a tagline, you know, like creative picker goes, what's up? <laughs> um, internet strangers thing. That's pretty funny. I like it. But uh, yeah, thanks to the patrons. We had two patrons in here. We had Karen Henderson and Max Hustle in here. We appreciate you guys. Uh, yeah. Thanks for that. Oh, no problem, John. I hope you guys have a good day and uh, we will see you guys back with our haul video i'm filming it today so yeah thanks guys we'll see you later